Hello, welcome back to another video, and today we're doing a Minecraft Let's Not Play, which I don't know what that means, but people told me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. So, yeah, I've just loaded up this brand new world with my ideal settings here, which I like to decrease everything to also decrease the performance because it makes it much easier to play the game just because but nice ooh nice we got a chest full of stuff here so i guess we'll equip this armor because we're gonna want the armor ooh and we are on a bit of an island here or maybe we aren't so we're gonna want to try to follow this see what we can find I think I want my sword out in case we run into any zombies. Yep, we have some zombies. I'm gonna need to start fighting them here. Ah, uh, ooh, cool, we got the chief. Those are really nice to get. I just love them. But actually, one thing they don't teach you is it's actually a super effective combat strategy to just turn your frame rate way down on purpose and then just go like this. Like it just, it does so much. But no, I, I'm kidding. But actually, yeah, let's try to get rid of these zombies. Yeah, we just kill them so quickly. That's how powerful these netherite swords are. Although if you want to do my strategy I mentioned, it could work in small spaces. Also, these baby zombies and drafts, they give nice amounts of XP, which we want XP so we can enchant this gear we found later, later on. Oh, they drop copper now, that's cool. I guess maybe instead of dropping iron. I don't know, I haven't played the snapshots very much since like the first week. But yeah, I think that's all of the zombies. No, we left a drowned. And actually another baby drowned. Wait, is that the drowns giving me cover? I'm confused. Hold on, what's my... That's my inventory. We got two copper. Yeah. But more importantly, uh... 39 rotten flesh, which... I mean, this is actually the best food in the game, so... That's just great. And I'm gonna want to eat as much of possible of it. That way we don't run out, or... Well, actually, it's not that we don't run out, it's so that it's actually more... It's better if you stack the effects, and we can... Let's plant those. Ooh, beach cliff. So, we'll want to keep heading deeper into the woods here to find the ideal spot to build our house. Yeah, I was actually venturing through the woods, and I found this nice spot to build a house. I just happened to find some sponges right outside of it. So yeah, once we clear out the water, and then we block it up, so nothing bad can get in over here. So I think we want to make it a roof right here. Ta-da! We will be needing a door, but we can get some wood to do that real easily. Yeah, that should be good. So we're... Actually, we do want to go in here. And put a door here. And then I'll do a bit of work renovating this space. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I... I did a bit of decoration. And actually, I think we need another jack-o'-lantern right there, but... Yeah, I added a bed so we can sleep, which we should actually do that. But as you see, there's all this deep slate diamond door, which I found while mining. And, because, yeah, I decided, why not do some off-camera mining? But anyway, oh, we should also probably put the diamonds in this chest I made, if the auto-jump wouldn't uh, do that. So, yeah.
Wait. Oh. Oh yeah. So I did end up trapping that uh, chest to make sure that nobody stole my diamonds and yeah I kind of wanted to show off my ingenious trap but it appears and then I was confused why it didn't go off but it appears there was actually an ender portal room under my base which I mean that means we get to skip the nether and just go straight for killing the dragons so yeah let's do some of that gonna want to turn a build up to this tower I'm not sure how close we are mm, we're really close and now if you didn't know this beds explode in the nether so we're gonna want to use these to destroy the crystals and then we can hop with like these TNT blocks here cuz I actually need a lot of them See where this goes. I mean, we might land on top of a tower. Oh, where where are we? Silly me throwing my ender pearls into the nothingness, but I mean, we're gonna want more ender pearls, so might as well kill these guys. Oh, that's the edge. Here, let's try to get back to the center. Oh no, this is the edge again. Is this the center? I guess we want to go up. I'm so confused. This is a confusing end, okay? Did I, like... What if I went across the end void? Okay, so actually, yeah, this is causing us problems. So this is probably going to decrease our performance a bit, which that does suck, but we need it. Oh my, this is so much laggier than before. I missed when I had my frame rate really nice and high before. So yeah, we want to bridge up, or pillar up. Ooh, this one. So, you actually want to place a deep slate diamond ore, your brown bed, and then yeah, you break it. Now if you do have ender pearls like me, you could potentially try to do that. Because another form of this is bed, or not, that door although that's a way to go down I just remembered so yeah we want to pillar up well I pillared so quickly I left them behind that's I mean that's how experienced of a pillaring person I am we want to ender pearl up now if at first you don't succeed just try again at some point your ender pearl is gonna land up there hopefully or maybe it won't. Oh. I was trying to be fancy. But yeah. Ah, I'm sick of this. Actually, this one's closer. Why not use some of our deep slate diamond ore? Because now the only three blocks you can actually use for this pillaring are sponges, deep slate diamond ore, and jack-o'-lanterns. But I choose to use Deep Slate Diamond Door as it is the most cheapest and efficient block to do it with. And now, if the redstone doesn't do much, but it also ge but it tends to give you good luck if you just place redstone down before exploding it. Cool. Now we can go. I missed. 
No, I went to the sponge by accident. I'll just have to do my super fast uh, pillar up again to make up for the lost time. And now, let's see if we can hit that. See if we can get these beds to actually launch us up there. Because if you have enough beds, it could be a potentially good idea. Whoa, it launched me up. So cool. I love Minecraft. Ah, oh, but that knocked me back down. Oh, but now it's launched me over here. Whoa, that's launched me over here. Actually, let's throw the ender pearl so we don't miss it. Okay, good. But yeah, hold shift so you don't fall off again. Face your brown bed. And then do that. Did I get the crystal? Looks like I did. Yeah, we're gonna want to bed to launch us up here. Okay, sweet. Now all the crystals are done, so we're gonna use our OP netherite sword we found. If the dragon will ever come back, which we hope. Well, actually, it's a she. I was gonna say hopefully he does, but. Hopefully she comes back. In the meantime, let's try to collect some of this bedrock for use in our own house. Because, yeah, bedrock's a really nice building material, actually. And there's a common misconception that it can never be broken, but you can actually break it if you have a netherite sword in your inventory. Ooh, the dragon! I won! Yay! Yeah, that's just how good the other sword is, really. It allows you to mine bedrock and also do this. And also, when you kill the dragon, you get more bedrock for your use in your house. Oh, I can't actually pick block, but... Yeah, anyway, this is going to be the end of my first episode of my Minecraft Let's Not Play. And actually... We beat the, uh, what's it called? We beat the dragon, so let's make it our last. <laughs>